Hello and welcome to the first episode in the Cydia series. This is just a basic episode to show you how to install Cydia. In other words, jailbreak your iPad. What you want to do is you want to open up Safari and Google jailbreak me. Once you've done this, you'll come up with an iTunes-like page. At this point, you want to click the free button at the bottom left. I would just like to apologise in advance if there's any background noise. I have tried to eliminate this, but I can only try my best. Just showing you the more information tab. So go ahead and click the install button, now it will change. The window will minimise and it will say install, but as I've already installed this, it's coming up with further complications which you don't have to worry about. Just press install and it will be straight on your dashboard. Now find the Cydia app and open it. I think last time I opened Cydia I went on the search page, so I just ignore this bit and I'll navigate to the home menu. Now I'm on the home menu, this is what it looks like, this is what you'll see when you open Cydia for the first time. It will just guide you through it, it will give you their Facebook, their Twitter, their featured packages, all sorts. I suggest just downloading it and having a browse before you actually go ahead and download any package. The first tab along the bottom is sections. The next tab is changes. The next one is installed. This shows you all of course all of the installed packages. Then you've got sources. Then we've got details and then we have search. For example, you could search lock, and up will come all the different packages that are related to the word lock. So if you don't exactly know the name of the package you're looking for, just search something to do with it and it should appear. When you found the package that you want, some of them are free, some of them you have to purchase to support the developer, but either way there should be a button at the top right. Often on Cydia you find that there's a basic version and a pro version. The basic version is extremely basic, hence the name. So I would really suggest the apps that you really like, you go pro with. Please note that currently, as of today, iOS 4.3.4 .4 is not compatible with Cydia or the packages that are available. So that's it for episode one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.